we had a project um, this year. It was called our World War II and Cold War presentations. Um, students were given a list of possible topics based on the content again. For this one, our content areas were World War II on the home front, the Cold War and its effects on society, and the United States and World War II. Students were given a list of basically the vocabulary words, Potsdam Conference, containment, the Berlin Airlift, things like that, Rosie the Riveter. And they were able to choose an area that they wanted to dive a little deeper in and prepare a presentation for. And then after preparing their presentation, they gave those presentations to uh, members of their class. Um, as teachers, we tried to be strategic in who watched um, the presentations. We tried to concentrate on those students who hadn't passed those particular focus areas so that they could learn from their colleagues. The advantage of this um, project is that students were kind of on their own to learn and to develop understanding of something that they were interested in within a larger time frame. So as history teachers, it's really hard to cover all the content, especially with um, the push towards skills. In their presentations, they had to, number one, provide context. So they had to give the story before the story. So what do I need to know before I tell you about um, the House and American Activities Committee? Or, you know, what do I need to, what do you need to understand before I can explain the Berlin Airlift? So we, we talked a lot about context. Um, one of our skills that we concentrate on in both argumentative claim and introduction and conclusion is giving background and giving context. They had to explain the event or the person or the concept. What is it? What did it do? How did it work? And then how did it connect to today? And that was probably the most interesting. And of course, as history teachers, the most applicable part is, you know, why do I need to know what the Berlin Airlift is? beyond what it was. So again, they prepared their presentations. We had a very, you know, we had a kind of a idea of what they needed to do and gave that to them. And then we gave a presentation to show them kind of what that presentation should look like. And our presentation um, was for the next unit coming up. So it wasn't anything that anybody was gonna cover. And we gave them kind of our example and then we let them score it based on the rubric and okay what would you have given me what could i have done differently and as as a team we created the powerpoint it wasn't a perfect one and we all delivered it a little differently um enabling the students to kind of you know like what what could i have done better what did i skip over what was good about the powerpoint was you know what could be improved on the powerpoint now with all of our checkpoints the, everything's online that they submit so the first they submitted, um, here's the topic that I want, and here's what I understand about the topic. Then they did a research checkpoint. They had to give us a summary of some evidence that they had found in the sources. So we were evaluating sources on this one. Then they gave us the introduction to their PowerPoint where they covered the context and um, a little bit of content. So we gave them some early feedback. Your content's good, you know, your PowerPoint's looking good. So students, you know, give, get feedback all along and they are sometimes working on that in class. Again, sometimes we're working on content in class. So they don't have all day or all period in class to do, you know, specific things. So they do have to use the online space, but everything that we do comes in online um, through what we call checkpoints. And so I can check their work, give them feedback. And if they need to work on something, and we send it back to them with some comments and then they can fix it and send it back to me and then I can send it back to them. Most students only need um, you know, feedback once and some students you'll get it back and forth for them two or three times um, until they understand it and are ready to move on to the next step.